that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs> show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today is the Whiskey Spitters, Hello. who are the house band at Jalopy Theater in Brooklyn, New, jo New York. Mm -hmm. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Happy yeah. to be here. That version of Banjo Reno is very faithful to the original recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's the only one we ever heard, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only place we could learn it from. Absolutely. Do you remember who that was recorded by? Dixieland uh, Jug Brothers. Yeah, yeah, the Dixieland Jug Brothers. Uh, Louisville uh, based, I think. Um, 
uh, jug band, if I'm not mistaken. Jug blowers, after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I've never seen a picture of them or anything, have you? Uh, yeah, there's some on the, the CD. Right. They put that CD out in like 1920. What? Yeah, yeah. I have the, I have the original copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got no it. I, I got. I know. I got it for only 500 bucks on eBay. It was really wow. <laughs> Great. What else would you like to do for us? Um, for one called Fourth Street Mess Around. Yeah. This is another Jug Band number by Memphis Jug Band. Fourth Street Mess Around. Two, three, four. person whose name I know is Ernie Vega. <laughs> so do you want to introduce the rest of the band? Sure. Um, 
just behind me here on the fiddle and also playing the banjo mandolin on uh, the first number that we did is Chloe Swantner. Just to my right here on the on the guitar and background vocals is Luis Betancourt. Yeah, this is fun. Nice. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> to his immediate right on uh, guitar and fiddle is Jackson Lynch. And uh, all the way in the on the corner there on the upright bass, the jug and the uh, banjo ukulele and vocals is Jeff Wiley. That guy didn't give me a harumph. <laughs> what, uh, what were we going to play next? Did we have a song? Uh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, I think we did. We're breaking into Chickasaw. Okay. Chickasaw. Uh, Memphis Nanny. Yeah, Memphis Nanny. We do a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. We got three of the favorites. Just a couple. Just two. But I would play more. Yeah, we should play more. <clears throat> You guys have a great sound. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Man. Thanks. Real authentic. <laughs> How long have we been together now? 
Um, two, two years. Two, two full years. years. Yeah, two full this year. month. Yeah, yeah. Oh, first, you're right. It was, right. Right. It was, it was, first it was the birthday gig right. uh, of two years ago. I think we did our first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Still haven't got any recording. But we will. Working. That's well. happening soon. Yeah. Any minute. We should yeah. tell folks how they can find out more information about where you're playing and when. Well, the best place to find us is uh, probably our Facebook page. Uh, but uh, the Jalopy, um, uh, Jalopy is where the house band at Jalopy, and so you can always find us through there. And that's probably the best place to find. Yeah. I mean, whatever's going on for you know, folk music and blues and stuff in, in Brooklyn, that's a good place to look. Sure. Great. Got months and months and months ahead of <laughs> <laughs> music six nights a week. Well, and we're there a couple of times a month at least. Three or four times a month. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're they must like us there. Yeah, keep, I got an in with the wife, you know. Gigs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, two of the sound guys are in this band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which ones? For a long time, we couldn't play anywhere else <laughs> other than Jalop because one of the two of us had to be there. So we only played there for a year. Something like that. How many places have we played besides Jalopy Theater? Lone, uh, probably about six or eight. Yeah, it's an even around. number, I'm pretty sure. Lone Wolf <laughs> and uh, Goodbye Blue Mondays yeah. the other day. And, and 68J. Yeah. Um, you know, and then whatever our, our yeah. various uh, locales are for Folk Fest or. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a big folk festival in the spring that we. Yeah. We're mostly local to New York, but. Yeah. yeah. But we hope to get out of the city at some point. Well, we'll be going point. up Maybe to Vermont. Maybe a five borough tour. Going a five up to borough Vermont tour. In, uh, in April, also. Yeah. You can catch us there. Around yeah. yeah. Well, and all around. Do another song? Yeah. What do you uh, say, Chief? Yeah, we'll say. Want to hear another one? All right. Be uh, me on this uh, one. Bootleggers, right? Oh, no, right. no, we're going yeah. bootleggers, yeah. right? Yeah. Featuring Ernest Vega. This is, <laughs> this is an old uh, Mississippi Sheet song. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to download this song, um, ready? Uh, one, no, uh, one. It's usually what comes after one? Three. Two. Got it. Nice. All right. Sorry. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, do you recall where that one's come from? Come uh, from? Yeah, from uh, the Mississippi Sheiks, um, a great string band from great. from Mississippi. Uh, the Chapman family is uh, kind of it was kind of centered around that group, and, and they were uh, very large and musical family that carried in the tradition of um, you know late nineteenth century, early twentieth century uh, black string band music. They were kind of the, 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 at the forefront of, uh, you know, those groups that got to record, you know, um, in, the, in the 30s. And their music is so rich and beautiful and varied and um, catchy. Yeah. Right, so yeah. catchy, so, you know, great rhythm. Um, usually <laughs> consisted of um, mostly Walter Vincent on guitar and Lonnie Chapman on uh, fiddle. Every now and again, they'd, they'd bring in uh, uh, Bo Carter, uh, was another brother of theirs, to, to play guitar. It's convenient. Yeah, yeah, really. Oh, or, uh, or their or their neighbor Charlie McCoy would come over and play some mandolin. You know, it's nice when you live in a town with that many great musicians. <laughs> we we're sort of lucky it's like, like Brooklyn. that. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like Brooklyn is now. Yeah. We just we just call up a friend of ours and uh, we're we're gonna have a great uh, musician on on the bill if if uh, that person will come by. Yeah, Jackson, Mississippi is actually in many ways very like Brooklyn. <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> so, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't want to get into that. Uh, a statement. <laughs> I like it though. Should we uh, keep going? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Our next another. song is. Oh uh, yeah. Tell us about this one, Jeff. Uh, oh right. We got this off of uh, Sesame Street. I was try. I, one day, Jackson and I were just looking at. Sesame Street songs, because they're so good in the 70s. They made such good songs. There was a lot of old time, a lot of um, mixed in with those. And this one happened to be one of my favorites when I was a kid. And so we just started playing it. And uh, I always say that if you heard this song on Sesame Street, the day would have been sponsored by the letter F and the number 12. All right, eh? nice I am ready. Eh? Eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all came down to the ladybug's picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all played games at the ladybug picnic. Well, they had twelve sacks from the red sack races, and they fell on the backs, they fell on the face, that's the ladybug twelve at the ladybug picnic. Well, they had jump rope, but the rope it broke, so they sat around telling knock knock jokes at the ladybug twelve at the ladybug picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all played games. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all sat down at the ladybug picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all had a talk at the ladybug picnic. Well, they talked about the high price furniture and rugs and fire insurance for ladybugs. That's the ladybug twelve at the ladybug picnic. Well, they tried to sing a song, but they had no tone, so they thought about the kids and they flew on home. That's the ladybug twelve at the ladybug picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all had a gab at the ladybug picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then a lot of fun at the ladybug picnic. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all had fun at the ladybug picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and that's the end of the ladybug picnic. Twelve. All right, all right. Great to have the whiskey spitters on the on the show, and let's take it out with the Dallas rag. Right. We just hey, have a few minutes. Here we go. Ready? One, two.